We also have an option to deploy the Langflow instance using Docker. And for that, we're going to go to the Langflow repo. And within this Docker example folder, we see that there are a few steps provided to us to follow along and deploy the Docker version. So we're going to do that. It says that we need to first clone the Langflow repo and then navigate to this Docker example directory and then follow this command, which is Docker compose up. And now with that, we'll have a Langflow version available to us. So that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to get clone this repo. So I'll copy that. I'm going to bring the command over. So in my computer, I'm going to paste this. I'll probably give it a name. So I'll call this Langflow Docker and then hit enter. And with that, we're going to clone the repo. Once cloning is complete, I'm going to change the directory into Langflow Docker. And within that, we're going to go into Docker example folder. And as per the instructions that were provided, we're going to copy this command docker compose up and then run that command within that directory. And now we notice that once the execution of the command is completed, we have access to our Langflow instance at this particular port. So if you were to go to this URL in your browser, you'll have your instance of Langflow available for you and you can get started building new projects.